Okay, sports fans, warming up the 69 Corvette today. Uh, it's uh, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, and today is the day it goes out to the painter's house. So we're going to leave in about a half an hour. I'm just warming it up a little bit before we go, and uh, we'll see you when we get out there. Okay guys, that's Heinz right in front of the car here, and Glenn, my neighbor across the street back there. The 69 Corvette is out at Shannon's place. There's Shannon right there. And Shannon is working also on this 68 Corvette right here, body off. He says it's just about ready for paint. He's got another one inside the shop that's about ready for paint. And the last time I was here when my Dodge was being done, this was just an empty slab over here, but now it is a how, what, what size paint booth? Um, it's 37 by 18. 37 by 18 dedicated paint booth. I think my Dodge was painted in this one, this yeah. stall here. And you just have to really clean everything up really good because you know the, you got to get all the dust and everything out, water the floor. Yeah. So it's nice to have a, a dedicated paint booth. And these are the security team for for the yard here. The white and black guy, that's Smokey. The other one over there is Chino. And then over here, there's a sweet little girl named, is Tilly, right? Tilly. Tilly's right there. I guarantee you, you do not want to come in here unauthorized with these three big beasts in here. And I bribe them with cookies, but the first cookie I gave uh, Chino over here, he wouldn't take it. He took it and he dropped it. Isn't that right, Chino? We're talking about you. Anyway, we're going to leave the Corvette here. Shannon said he'll text me when he started working on it, when there's something to, you know, a time to get a video update, and he'll let me know, and so we'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Okay, the Corvette is gone. Had a little bit of drama. Uh, you just saw that part of the video where I was warming it up to take it out there, and it was running pretty rough, but I thought it was just because it was cold, and that's why I was warming it, but... It turned out when I tried to start driving it over there, it was popping and cracking. It was, you know, missing on one cylinder. And uh, it turns out that a spark plug wire failed on number eight. And so that caused the plug to foul. And so this is why I have a plug that looks like this. It's totally black. So I had to replace the plug. And then, of course, it's Sunday and nobody had plug wires in stock, so I borrowed one from my Dodge truck, and we altered it a little bit and made it work. I borrowed number one off of, off of my Dodge here, and we made it work, so I'll get a new set for the Corvette and go out and replace it uh, next time I go out there. So anyway, just a little bit of drama, but the car has been delivered to the painter, He's going to text me when the next noticeable amount of work is done to go out and get a video shot. Okay guys, it is a stormy Sunday here near the end of uh, March. This is the first week the Corvette's been out here at Shannon's shop. That's Schreier's Customs out here in uh, Sour Rita, Arizona. So I came out today for two reasons. I I think in the last video there was a spark plug problem and we had to borrow one from my Dodge truck. Well, I came out and went ahead and replaced all the plug wires while I was here. And then I also, you know, came out to see how far Shannon got and, you know, take a look at the car. So uh, he says I can come out Monday, Tuesday-ish and work on doing sanding on the back of the car here. So I'm going to work with Heinz and see if uh, you know if it rains we won't be working outside at his house so as you can see this whole side has been scrubbed off pretty good right here and what's odd is right here in the uh, front we're seeing a lot of red and I was talking to Shannon he was saying that may mean it might have been a red front clip it could be gel coat material it could be a lot of things so Shannon what's the story uh, so far what you think this is about um, yeah, it's just in the front. Could be front clip. Been looking around. We see some red up in uh, up in this top area, but it's either one, either one point it's got a used clip or it's a gel coat. And back then, I mean, 
say it was at a fiberglass shop and they were red gel coating and they had some extra and they needed some for repair, they might have sprayed it on there and then sanded it. So um, we reached, I got a buddy, uh, Travis Sylvester, Sylvester's Custom, I sent a little video. And where is he from? He's from New, Nuevo, California, and he's got uh, Sylvester's Customs on YouTube, and we're good friends, so we kind of go back and forth. But uh, he was thinking the same, probably some types of gel coat in here. And, and those are, are hard, and that's what this stuff is. It's, it's really hard, so um, I think, I don't know if we're gonna end up taking it completely down on the front like we will the rest, but mm -hmm. since it's looking like Joe Coop, but we're moving on it, so. Shannon took a video of what he sees here and sent it to uh, Travis, you know, as, to kind of get a consultation on this and see what we're looking at here. But uh, anyway, hey, we've got, uh, we got a lot of the sanding done already and we'll be out next week uh, doing some more uh, he said I can work on the back here and uh, I'm looking forward to helping out so that's where we are on the 69 Corvette paint job so far and this is my personal uh, guard dog right here this is Tilly she's uh, taking care and uh, watching the Corvette for me thank you Tilly you're a sweetie thanks guys talk to you later almost forgot to let you know that Shannon has uh, block sanded the new hood and has the materials to start the repairs on it so that's going to happen soon too like i said right here's the corvette and he's got the hood right over here and hopefully next week i'll get out and come and help a little bit and move it along and get to participate thanks for watching guys just pointing out the crew here <laughs> left is tilly front is chino and the back that's Smokey. he's he's leaving Anyway, these guys are, uh, like I said, the security team out here. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't want to come inside this fence Have you? without talking to Shannon first.